Hey there frozen neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today I want to talk to you about a very serious subject, okay? It's about our children's education of American history, okay? Here recently on one of the cable news channels, I was watching a little segment that they had on there where a fellow went out and he was interviewing these college kids on, on a beach, okay? He was asking them simple questions about our American history, like, you know, who fought in World War I? Who fought in the Civil War? Did the North or the South win? And these college kids could not answer these questions correctly, okay? And also there's another fellow on YouTube here that goes out and does these little interviews uh, and recently I watched one of his where he, around Memorial Day and he was asking people if they even knew the meaning of Memorial Day. What, what did we uh, celebrate that day? And uh, a lot of people didn't know the answer to that. One guy said, well to me it's just another another day off, okay, from work. And I think that's sad that our country has got to the point where our young folks do not know or do not even care about our American history, okay? So I put it upon myself, and I'm challenging you out there, friends, parents, grandparents, to make a difference this summer in your children's life, okay? The thing that got me the most, that made me decide to do this, was another uh, instance that I read about online, or I may have heard about it on television, I can't remember, there's a gentleman by the name of Theodore Van Kirk, okay? He is the last remaining survivor from World War II that actually flew the plane that dropped a bomb on Japan, okay? Recently, in January of this year, he was asked to come speak at a grammar school to some children. And when the teacher introduced uh, Mr. Van Kirk, she introduced him as a veteran of World War Eleven. Mr. Van Kirk got up and walked out. And I can't say that I blame him. If our teachers don't know history, how, how are we going to uh, convey that on to our children? So folks, let me tell you what I'm doing this summer. I'm challenging you to do the same thing. Spend some time each day studying American history with your children, okay? Now some of the guys that I'm going to use this year, here's a fun one. This right here is uh, Liberty Kids. It's an animated series. It's 40 different episodes. You can find these online. We're going to watch probably one of these a day, you know, over the course of the uh, summer. We'll learn a little bit of history from that. Here's another great series, especially for your older children. This is called America, the Story of Us. I've already watched this whole thing. This is a very good explanation that takes you all the way from the founding of this country up until modern times. It takes you through everything, the Civil War, World War I, World War II, um, Industrial Revolution, everything. A lot of great information and interesting stuff in this DVD series. Another book that we're going to read together is this uh, Rush Revere First Patriots. It's a children, children's book that Rush Limbaugh has uh, wrote, and evidently, whether you like Rush or not, this is really a good book. Um, I believe it was voted number one children's book of the year, and uh, it's, it's a great little book. We're actually probably about a third of the way through, or a fourth of the way through with it right now. It's great reading. We have like a designated reading time every night. We flip the TV off or whatever video game and read a little bit of the book. Um, a couple other books that I have here, that we'll use later on in the um, summer. Here's a book on um, the presidents, all the way from our first president, George Washington, and this one goes all the way up to, I believe, maybe it's just George W. Bush, okay? But anyway, this has got a lot of good information in this book. I think I bought this at my daughter's um, uh, book fair a few years back when she was in uh, elementary school. And here's a book that I dug out of my uh, book collection and actually it's got my name here when I was in third grade. I bought this uh, at the book fair um, at Ottawa School where I went to school many many years ago and it's got some great facts in here about our 50 states. So friends 
I just want to put the challenge on to you to get involved with your kids this summer. Grandparents, you can do the same thing. Let's teach our kids something about our American history. Thank you for watching the uh, video today, folks. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with somebody. Put it on your Facebook. Let's make it go viral. Have a great day. Bye-bye.